Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. Today I want to talk about five mistakes beginners make in Adobe After Effects and of course I will show you how you can easily fix them. So let's get into this. Now the first mistake is when you create a shape and want to make a simple animation. So let's say you create a square and you move it around until you have a position you like and then after let's say two seconds you create a keyframe for the position and you move it around but then once you play it you will notice nothing happens and a lot of beginners actually forget to create a keyframe at the start and then create a new keyframe after two seconds where you can actually change the position and then it will move around now the second mistake beginners make is that they don't use easy ease. As you can see this movement is quite rough, uh, doesn't really look that smooth, but all you really have to do is right click on the keyframe, go to keyframe assistant and click on easy ease. And as you can see the movement looks a lot better. Now the third mistake beginners make is when it comes to anchor points. Let's say we want to move this square around. So let's create a keyframe for the rotation. Create another one. Change the settings. And once we play this, the rotation looks weird. It doesn't rotate from the center. And that's because the anchor point isn't set to the center of the square. You can change this manually by just moving this around. But there's also plugins that help you do this. I mostly use Motion 2, but there's also free plugins um, that help you do this. And all you really have to do is click this square. And as you can see, it sets the anchor point to the center. So now you can just move it around, um, change the rotation, and it will look a lot better. See, pretty cool. Of course, also add easy ease to this. And there we go. The fourth problem has to do with scaling things. So let's say you have two compositions. Let me create a new one. And you want to import the first composition in the second one, like so. And let's say you want to scale this. then you will notice the edges become quite blurry. And of course you don't want that. But again, there's an easy fix for this. All you have to do is look for this little sun icon. Um, it's possible that you're in the other mode. So toggle switches modes with this button. And then just check this. And as you can see, the edges become sharp again. Again, a small trick, but it really does a lot. Now, the final thing I want to discuss is not really a mistake people make, but it's something that took me ages to figure out when I just started in Adobe After Effects, and it has to do with solids. So uh, let me just delete this, and let's say you create a new solid. Then, of course, you can set the color right here. But once it's there, it's quite hard to figure out how to change its color. You expect that you can just double click it to change it, but you can't. So I suggest you just write this shortcut down. Um, you have to hold command, hold shift and press Y. And then you're back in the solid settings where you can change the color um, or the size of it. If you don't like to use shortcuts, you can also go to layer Oops, of course you have to select it, go to layer and click solid settings. Same menu, but um, might take a little longer if you have to do this a lot. But that's it guys, five mistakes beginners make in After Effects and how to fix them. I hope this was useful and if you have any questions just drop a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.